Hugo, Andrew, Rodolfo, and Bojo, and also Ulisse, David, Philip, Alberto, Mario, and Filiberto. In the year dedicated to the consecrated life, the solemnity of St. Peter and St. Paul is the day chosen for the ordination of Franciscans in Jerusalem. Having new priests and new deacons in the service of the church on the day of St. Peter and St. Paul can only make us happy. New young men who wish to give their entire life to serve Christ and the church represent a gift to the Church of Jerusalem, the Universal Church. It's beautiful. Six priests and four deacons from different backgrounds but united by the same gift were ordained by the laying on of hands by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Archbishop Fuad Twal, after spending the last years of their training here in the holy places. As the Patriarch recalled in his homily, it's an ordination that represents the culmination of much preparation and study, the acquisition of much human knowledge and experience. However, it's also a starting point, a more conscious one, a beginning that involves a global dimension. The Church will put at your service the resources to accomplish the mission. Among these means there is a cross to bear, misunderstandings to endure, a Franciscan tunic to wear, and all the consequences that this entails. These ordinations are taking place at a difficult time in the world, where a culture of violence and death reigns. In the hard life that we live in the Middle East, there are beautiful moments when you feel close to the Lord. But at other times, we do not feel His presence. We sense He's far away and we complain. We must give thanks to the Lord for these moments, because frankly, it's marvelous to be all together while the world suffers for lack of vocations. All began from here, and here it continues. We thank the Lord. Let's pray for these new priests. Let's pray for the priests who have health problems, for those who live under persecution and don't have the freedom to evangelize or speak the word. Let's pray for all. Let's pray that Jerusalem keeps being a place for prayer and not violence, a place for peace and coexistence for its inhabitants. These ordinations are a gift from the Lord to the custody and a gift from the custody to the local and universal church. Muchas gracias por todo. Grazie, grazie a voi. Dio ci Dio vi benedica a tutti. Vi ringraziamo in nome della Chiesa.